What's up everyone, my name is Augustine, I'm a cruise ship musician and this YouTube channel is dedicated to anyone who works or wants to work on a cruise ship. So if that's you, make sure you subscribe and you check out my other videos because you're definitely going to find them useful. Now in today's video I'm going to tell you about my job as a cruise ship musician. Most of my videos are more about working on a cruise ship in general, but in today's video I'm going to tell you more about my actual job as a musician. So I'm going to tell you the different jobs you can get as a musician on a cruise ship and I'm going to share with you some pros and cons of being a cruise ship musician as opposed to being a musician on land. So on a medium sized or big cruise ship you're going to find quite a lot of musicians. You usually will find a show band, a party band, a few soloists and a musical director. So the party band as the name suggests is a band that plays party tunes. So they will usually be booked for the busiest times at the busiest venues. So for example, if it's a sea day, that means the ship is not at port, it's just sailing the whole day, everyone's gonna go to the pool. So they're gonna play by the pool because it's gonna be busy. They usually hire the whole band together. Uh, they might be able to keep their own name if they have a name. And as far as I know, they can choose the songs that they play. Also, they don't need to be able to read music because as long as they know the songs, that's fine. Then there's the show band. The show band plays at the theater supporting the show cast in the main shows. And they also play some sets of their own at the bars. Unlike the party band, they don't hire the whole band together, but they hire different musicians and then they make them rehearse once they are on board. I don't know if that's the way it works on every company, but at least it's the way it works on here. So if you want to be in the show band, you need to be able to read music really, really well because they would give you the charts for the shows and you would have to learn them pretty quickly. And also it's very common for cruise ships to bring guest acts once or twice a week. Uh, like for example, singers, tribute acts are very common and it's usually just a singer and they play together with the show band. So as a show band musician, you will be given the charts pretty much on the same day or maybe one day before and then there is like a two hour rehearsal and that's it, show time. So you have to be able to side with pretty well. As I said, the show band is also doing some sets of their own and in some companies they tell them what to play. I don't think that's the way it works on here but I've heard that in some other companies they tell them what to play, they give them lists of songs. Then there is a few solo musicians, so for example on this ship there's three of us um, there's me, I play guitar and I sing and I also play piano and then there's a pianist who sings and then there's another guitarist who sings. So yeah, three solo musicians playing guitar and piano mainly. So as a solo musician you don't need to be able to read music. I mean, if you do, that's great, but it's not necessary for the job and also you can choose what to play as long as the passengers like what you play and yeah I like being a solo musician because that way I don't have to put up with anyone else and I can make up the set list as I go during the shows and if somebody requests a song and let's say I don't know the song but I kind of know the song I just you know I give it a shot and if I don't get it right it's fine because it's just my own show so yeah, I really, I really enjoy being a solo musician. That's what I've always been doing actually on land. Also, as a solo musician, you're entitled to your own cabin, which as a band member, you're not. You're probably gonna be sharing with another member of your band. And also the money is a little bit better as well. And then there's the musical director, which is like the boss of all the musicians, like the line manager. It's usually a pianist and you have to be really, really good at reading music. You don't need to sing, but it's a plus if you can sing. As a musical director, you will be doing sets of your own, same as a solo musician, but you will also be conducting the band, the show band, for the shows at the theater. And as a musical director, you will also be doing some admin stuff, like for example, sending the rota to all the musicians so that they know what time they're playing. The salary is even a little bit better than what you would be getting as a solo musician, and also of course you're entitled to your own cabin but it's also more responsibility because you have to do all this admin work and you have like line managers meetings and things like that also on cruise ships there's quite a few rules and everyone likes bending the rules every now and then but if you're the manager you can't really be doing that so keep that in mind so those are the different jobs that you can get as a musician on a cruise ship some other companies also hire like a little orchestra for the shows 
or like a string quartet for the restaurants, but this company doesn't, so I couldn't really tell you much about these jobs. Also, some musicians may have experience as sound engineers, so in that case, that's another job that you can apply for. So now I'm gonna share with you some of the pros and cons of being a cruise ship musician. Of course, everything I say is just based on my experience and it varies from person to person or from company to company. Let's start with the pros. So when you're working as a musician on land, especially if you're like a freelancer, you have to book all your gigs so you waste time doing that and work is not very consistent. So there might be months where you work so much and there might be some other months where you don't work at all. So on a cruise ship, that doesn't happen because you don't have to book your gigs. You're already there. Somebody does it for you. And you know that every day you're gonna play two or three shows in some companies, maybe four or five every day. And yes, you're not gonna have any days off in most companies you want, but at least you know it's it's very consistent. Another pro of being a cruise ship musician is that you don't need to get to the places to play your gigs because let's say on a ship there's like five different venues where you play, all of them are like a one minute, two minute, five minute walk from your cabin. So you don't waste time actually going to places, finding the places on Google Maps or something. <laughs> Everything is here. And also you don't need to carry gear with you because all these venues, they're already prepared for your show. So all you need to do is just carry your guitar or your keyboard or your bass or whatever you play and just get there. You know, everything else is already there. Like you're not gonna be moving around heavy speakers or amps or drum sets. Whereas on land, it's not like that at all because many places don't really have a proper PA system. So you need to bring your own or if you're a drummer, you're definitely gonna be bringing your own drum set with you. So here it's a lot easier. Another pro is that you will be spending time with other musicians so you can hang out with them, you can learn from them, you can jam together. So that's really cool. Oh, and you can do sets together. For example, um, on this ship, we do something called the band jam, which is all the musicians playing together. We usually do it once a week. And it's awesome because there's like 12 or 13 of us just making a lot of noise, it gets really, really loud and it's good energy, really. And the passengers love it. And then, of course, um, there's some pros not really related to being a musician because it also applies to like any other job on a cruise ship. But, you know, if you work on a cruise ship, um, you will be saving money because you don't have to spend money on rent or food or transport. So all that money goes straight to your pocket and you will be traveling the world for free. As a musician, you will have quite a lot of free time, not on every company, but at least in my experience, musicians have quite a lot of free time because most of your shows are gonna be in the evening when the ship is sailing. And you may have some sets by the pool during the day, maybe once or twice a week. At least that's the way it works for me here. Um, let's say once or twice a week, I have to play during the day, but most of the times, my sets are in the evening, so I have plenty of free time during the day to explore the ports. And also you will have a lot of fun on a cruise ship because there's many people, there's parties, and yeah, it's cool. I really like it, actually. Now, let's think of some of the cons of being a cruise ship musician. Again, everything's based on my experience. So one of the cons could be that the shows are not really as wild as they could be on land. Don't get me wrong, they still enjoy it, they sing along, sometimes it's really, really good, but at least in my experience, on land, I usually have more fun doing my shows. Another con of being a cruise ship musician could be that you're gonna be playing a lot. I said it was a pro because that will make you become a better musician, but if you're someone who can't really play for hours on end, then you might not like it so much, especially as a singer, Another con of being a cruise ship musician is that if something happens to your gear and you're in, let's say, the Caribbean, in like very small islands, then you might not be able to get it fixed or replaced soon. Uh, because some of the islands, they don't really have music shops or they have like very basic stuff in there. Um, so yeah, it depends where you are. Another con of being a cruise ship musician is that you live where you work. So that can get a little bit too intense sometimes. 
So that's all the pros and cons I can think of right now about being a cruise ship musician. I've made videos called why you should work on a cruise ship and why you should not work on a cruise ship. They're two separate videos about the pros and cons of working on a cruise ship in general, not just for musicians. So if you want to check them out, I'm going to leave the links in the description. But yeah, I think being a cruise ship musician is great. I love it. That's why I do it. You'll get to travel the world for free, to save money, to make friends. And yeah, it's, it's, it's really good. I definitely recommend all musicians to do a cruise ship contract and see if they like it or not. So this is pretty much it for now. Thank you very much for watching until the end. If you have any questions about being a cruise ship musician or working on a cruise ship in general, please let me know in the comments. And you can follow me on Instagram or Facebook as well. And the most important thing is, if you like this video, please consider subscribing to this YouTube channel because I have many, many videos about working on cruise ships and you might find them useful. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye. Thank you.